Okay, so we're involved in a four-stage project here. And this is the second stage. The first stage was the one that we did on how to make plastic out of urine. Now, Jeremy's going to do this because he's come across really to learn how to do this, to do it, to make some graphene-reinforced plastic. Now, Jeremy's actually an engineer. He's not, in fact, a chemist. It's the first time he's actually done this, so it's really cool. So in a minute, he's going to take over, and we're going to phase two, which is actually how to make some graphene oxide. Because, obviously, if you're going to reinforce some plastic with some graphene, the first thing you need is some plastic. The next thing you need is some graphene. But to get our graphene, we're going to go through the graphene oxide route. Now, we're going to use Hummer's method. We're using Hummer's method because it's quick. I would actually recommend a tour method if you've got a bit more time. But we're going to use the Hummer's anyway. And I'm not going to do it. Jeremy's going to do it. So take it away, mate. All right. All right. So the ingredients we're working here today with is uh, we got hydrogen peroxide. You can get that at any any local supermarket. We've got uh, potassium permanganate. You can get this from your uh, local chemist. A little uh, deionized water. You can get this at any uh, any auto store. And then, uh, got a sodium nitrate. And you can get this at any uh, garden center. It's a fertilizer. And then the sulfuric acid, you can find this in a uh, one-shot drain cleaner. You can get that at Home Depot. And uh, I'm wearing gloves here because I am dealing with some acids. And we're keeping it at low temperature. Keep it for safety. Oh. For the amount of these things we're going to be using, we got uh, the sulfuric acid here. It's, we got 230 milliliters, and it's been cooling for about half an hour to uh, zero degrees. And um, we're going to add 10 grams of the graphite and stir it. i find my rod here. Check the temperature again because we want it to remain under 20 degrees. We're going to add 5 grams of the uh, sodium nitrate. Check the temperature again. Alright, so I've stirred the, uh, the graphite and the uh, sodium nitrate down and now it's time for the potassium permanganate and I got about 30 grams of it. We're only going to want to do about a gram at a time because apparently it'll explode if you pour it all in at once. I don't know firsthand, but that's what I'm told, so I'm not going to do it. Alright, so put about a little bit here. Continually, always be stirring. Be checking the temperature because that's when it really gets important. You don't want to get in over 20. Still okay. I'm just gonna keep adding here and you can feel it kind of thickening. Alright, so I'm gonna add the last bit here while stirring. Alright, and now what I'm gonna do is uh, we need to heat it up to about 35 degrees and so the heater here comes in handy, got it set. So and when, when you put it on there it's gonna sizzle a little bit, but that's just because it's it's wet, that's all, so you don't need to worry about it. Alright, put it here. We're going to continue stirring this for about another half an hour at 35 degrees. Right. So it's been about, an hour, been about a half an hour stirring it on the, on the heater. And it's, it's gotten pretty thick here and you'll see the, the grayish purple color. So now we're going to add the deionized water just a little bit at a time. After heating it at 98 for uh, 15 minutes, this is what we got. It's a lot of liquidier than before. It's not that thick gunk. And now all we're going to do is put this 3% peroxide in it. We got about 360 milliliters here. We're going to go ahead and put the whole bottle in. All right. It's definitely a lot lighter of a color than what it, what it was before, and that's all there is to it. First time, so anybody can do it. Okay, so there you go, how to make graphene oxide using the standard Hummer's method. Now the problems with Hummer's method are that the yield is quite low, which is why it's quite a dark colour. Um, it is, however, quick in comparison to the tour method. My own preference is the tour method, but that does take a couple of days. The Hummer's, as you saw, only really takes a couple of hours. 
Now, once you've got it to this stage, it'll sediment out gradually, leaving an awful lot of rubbish up here and a sediment of graphene oxide and graphene mix at the bottom there, which is what you're actually looking to collect. You still need to wash and dry that graphene oxide, and there's a video on how to do that on my graphene playlist. But here's what you get when it's all washed and dried. And there's a bunch of graphene oxide. Now, what we want to do with that is turn it back into graphene and mix it with our plastic.